How's it going guys? Cold there. We're back again. We're dropping yet another video. Right guys, as you can see, I'm extremely red. The reason that my face is red and my arms are red, red to white. Um, I did 11.9 mile moots the other day. That's why I've got a really big red circle there because I wore my um, London Shadows cap. So yeah, so anyway, the story I'm about to read you guys, right, actually is, the story is from November of 2019. The reason I'm covering it is, there's two stories in one here. The second story caught my eye on Facebook, right? It's about the same depraved individual, right? It's a Romanian pedophile here in the UK, right? I think he lives over Burnley Way, right? Uh, just, as you can see from the title, guys, sex offender had two million pornographic images including child abuse videos right two million guys that is a hell of a lot and like i said it could be two two million separate children it could be one million children double over to make it to two million um but by viewing these just disgusting fucking depraved images it fuels the demand for these fucking wrongs to go out and abuse children and film it and record it and put it on the dark web and just the worst of the worst guys right i'm going to cover the story and stay tuned for part two and just listen to the cheek of this guy right so this is a story in the lancashire telegraph link in the description below like i always do headline reads sex offender had two million pornographic images including child abuse images a sex offender caught with nearly 2 million pornographic videos and images created descriptive folders on his computer so other perverts could easily access child abuse material online. Burnley Crown Court heard how intelligent and well-educated Romanian Sebastian Cosmin Bonter had created more than 60 folders with detailed and graphic descriptions of what sordid videos contained such as five-year-olds and rape. Prosecuting Stephen Parker said the child abuse material was made available to access over the internet via a network. The youngest child being abused was estimated to be just two. While police also found bestiality material on a 34 year old Bonser's laptop, Mr. Parker said police had gone into a house in Elmwood Street, Burnley on August the 8th for intelligence that child pornography was being accessed from there. Inside, officers found three foreign nationals, including Bonser, and they asked who spoke the best English. When police explained to Bonser why they were there, he said, I have seen pictures of children. Bonser was arrested on suspicion of making, possessing, indecent images of children. During a police interview, he accepted the computer devices police had attributed to him were his, but denied he was responsible for downloading indecent images of children. One of the devices police found 7,002 category A images, the most serious examples of child abuse, 64 category B, 62 category C, and 80, 888, sorry, 882 extreme pornographic images. Mr. Barker said there were more than 1.8 million videos and images that police hadn't examined, although he accepted some of those could have been legal pornography. Bonser pleaded guilty to three offences of making indecent images of children and making extreme pornography. However, Mr. Bar Mr. Parker defend uh, sorry, the prosecution, Mr. Parker said the defendant may face further charges in the future. Mr. Parker said at the moment he is indicted for making in terms of not being the filmer of them but uploading them. That wasn't the only device seized from the defendant. They are in due course going to be examined. If all that is found is further category A, category B and category C images, it's unlikely that's going to be troubling the courts again. If there is evidence of distribution, that's going to be a different scenario. There is a significant amount of work to be done, not just in terms of the defendant, but other defendants as well. In relation to the operation that led to the arrest of this defendant, that incorporated over 30 defendants, paedophile ring. Defending Philip Holden said, his client's best mitigation was his lack of previous convictions and his guilty pleas, but the difficulty he faced was the sheer number of images. Sentencing Bonser to only 18 months imprisonment 
Judge Simon Medland QC said, You are 34. You are a wholly intelligent man. You have a university degree and a postgraduate qualification in psychology. You don't take drugs. You barely drink alcohol. You have no psychological or psychotic problems. It is therefore all the more sad that I have to sentence you for possessing a vast quantity of unlawful pornography. Judge Medland told Bonser he would be deported on his release from prison. Now, that's one story of this guy. Now, check this out. Right Now, the UK database covers stories about paedophiles, right? Um, now, check this out. This is, what, this is why I had to cover this story. This is why I'm going to put both links to both stories in the description below. Check this out. Meet sexual deviant Sebastian Bonser. Caught with nearly 2 million indecent videos and images, including very young children being raped or abused by adults. However, Bonser is not happy that we listed him on the UK database as has sent an email demanding to be taken off, email attached. The court heard the youngest child being abused was estimated to be two. While police also found bestiality material on the 34-year-old Bonser's laptop. Bonser created more than 60 folders with detailed and graphic descriptions of what sort of videos were contained, such as five-year-olds and rape. One of the devices, police found 7,002 category A images. It's going over a lot of the, uh, what was said, a copy and paste job. Anyway, we move on. In his email to us, he says, My name is Bonser Sebastian, and I write to you about the article you wrote about me. I have been sentenced to three months. I want to start a new life. I admit that I was wrong, but by continuing the published article, you put my personal and private life in danger. You don't have any right to use my entire name and picture without consent under um, General Data Protection Regulation Law of Europe. In case of non-deletion of this article, I will address the police for putting my personal and private life in real danger. Not to mention that much information is false in the article. You tried to spread false information across, across the internet you was not in court to hear my case. I'm asking you to delete the article, his conviction. Um, and then it just got his email and pictures of him and everything, which I'm going to include um, in the story. Uh, and I'm going to put them at the start. Like I said, guys, the reason, just just for, because obviously he could put a privacy complaint in, right, to YouTube. So for YouTube's benefit, right, at seven minutes and 35 seconds of this video, the reason that I'm covering this story is because one, it's out there in the in in the in the in the it's online. It's it, it it's a local story to me. Um, I'm not asking people to harm this individual because I can't do that because it's illegal. Um, this guy is a depraved individual. How can it put his life at risk when he's gone back to Romania? He's not in the UK. He's not at the address anymore. From what we know, from what we believe, he's gone back. He's been deported back to Romania, um, and by threatening people with GDPR, um, like data protection laws, is just nonsensical. Like I said, the reason that the paper hasn't taken it down is because by law they don't have to. They're not stating anything that's untrue. That it's not defamation of character. It's not slander. If you wanted to go down those routes, they're not criminal offences. They're actually, they're actually, uh, it's common law. Uh, hold on, it's not a criminal offence. I can't think off the top of my head, right? But it's not a criminal offence, right? Uh, slander and defamation of character, which this isn't. This guy was convicted, right? Eighteen months he got guys in prison. Two million videos, right? Yes, some of it was bestiality, like I said. Um, but that aside, that's classed as extreme pornography, like anything to do with necrophilia, dead bodies, rapes, and stuff like that. Pedophilia, on the other hand, is completely something just on another stratosphere. That is... But two million, right? And like I said, um, the, the prosecution actually said that if, if it's just further category A and category B and category C child abuse images... We don't. Th we, we we won't see fit to put him before the court again. He got eighteen months, guys. You get caught with a firearm, not waving it round in the street. If you get a firearm under your bed, and the police come through your door and they catch you with that shooter, you get in a mandatory five years, right? How can it be that drug dealers, that people that I I, I remember speaking to a subscriber who was facing trial for for breaking someone's jaw in two places at a funeral. Because this guy had been acting like an arsehole to, to, to my subscriber. My subscriber, pissed up, just buried his best friend. This guy at the funeral didn't even know his like friend. He was there as a plus one, which is weird. 
my subscriber who lived local smashed the guy out, broke his jaw in two places, got six year, four months. This guy, by he will have it sounds like he's distributed. We don't know. He didn't get found guilty of that so far. They've only been able to access so much images and they there's but there's one million there's two million, nearly two million uh videos and pictures, right, of child abuse images, normal pornography, extreme pornography, etc. etc. Right. Um so yeah, I'm covering this story because it's newsworthy. Two, he was found guilty. Three, he was jailed. And four, he's been deported. And paedophiles are despised. Are absolutely despised. The, the youngest child that was being abused was two years old. Right? I don't care if that child's five, seven, nine, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. A child is exactly that. They're a child. And the the damage that it does to these children, and cause like I said, it's across the world, guys. And the thing is, this this where the police went through the door, it brought down thirty defendants, guys. Peter ring. sharing images, fucking depraved, vile individuals, and the damage it does. Right, I I myself was sexually abused by someone that lived local to mum and my stepdad, um, and the damage it does to you is everlasting. Right, it's a life sentence, physically, emotionally psychologically can't form emotional attachments i still can't i've been single four and a half years i can't form emotional attachments with people um i never turned to drugs or drink my thing was was uh, violence that's how i express the damage i've been through violence 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 not i'm not proud of that but it is what it is people self-harm people turn to drugs people turn to alcoholism people self-harm people attempt suicide and people sadly and tragically take suicide as a way out because they don't know how to deal with it. But why would you? It's the most horrific thing you could ever face. Rape, child abuse, just just the worst of the worst. Uh, and sadly and tragically, um, a lot of people here in the UK that have gone through the care system have been sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused, and everything else. Um, and, and, and this guy is just a fucking scumbag. So, and the fact is, did you hear the judge? Oh, you, you're intelligent. I, I've got to. I've got to sentence you for these things. And it's, the judge sounded like he fucking felt sorry for him. Just read the remarks again. Just listen to the remarks again. Oh, you're wholly intelligent. You've not got any psychological or psychotic problems. That makes it fucking worse. You should. If you if you're if you're mentally ill and you commit these offences, it's fucking bad enough, and you should be strung up. But when you were an intelligent guy and you've and you've got something up here and you know that it's wrong and you well everyone knows it's fucking wrong, but you know it's wrong and you're an intelligent guy. For me, that makes it ten times worse when you commit these offences. But like I said, this scumbag hopefully has been deported out of the country and he's gone. Like I said, guys, please share it. His pictures are at the start. Like I said, for YouTube benefit, I'm covering the story, one, because it's local, two, because it's reference prison, which is what my channel covers. Three, he was convicted, so it's not misinformation. It's not defamation of character. It's certainly not slander, which are civil, um, like it's a civil proceeding. He could take out a litigation, a civil action against me. Uh, but that's fine and dandy because I'm, I'm fine because he was convicted in a court of law. He's not got a leg to stand on. And he's trying to cite G GDPR, <laughs> general protection laws, right? Do you know what I'm saying? If you don't nonce kids, you don't end up out in the media. There's a nonce deal. One way trip back to Romania, and I know you never get back into this country on the back of a lorry or any other way. Scumbag, dirty, horrible scumbag. Right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, links are both in the description below. Let me know what you think about this depraved individual. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.